got the main one, so we're good. No doubt, no doubt. What do you think about preachers, like those big time preachers out there? Uh, I think preachers are, you know, like us, they're influencers, and you know they have a lot of power and responsibility. So as long as they keep that in mind, you know, I, I support what they do. So what, what kind of videos have you been posting lately? Uh, I've been posting a lot of videos about boundaries and gaslighting and uh, toxic relationships. I think that's something that a lot of people struggle with, and uh, people don't realize what a toxic relationship looks like. So I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, skits about, you know, what to look for, you know, how to stand for yourself, how to put those boundaries in there, so you, people can feel more respected. Have you ever put in a midline or a pick line? Oh, wow, I have not. Uh, I have not, but I've managed one like way back in the day. It's like 2013, a pick line, yeah. I love showing off my medical technology yeah, knowledge to you. Yeah, I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, how do you know what a pick line is? <laughs> That's cool. Yes, sir. Uh, YouTube, an invite from YouTube. Uh, I've been going uh, hard on YouTube because that's my uh, platform that I have the least amount of followers. You know, we have 3 million total, but only like 50K on, on YouTube. So I want to know more of what the, the kids want to see when it comes to comedy and mental health and all the medical background. So I've been posting a lot on YouTube and uh, I got the invite from YouTube and I'm happy to be here. I'm going to go back to your question about talking about toxic relationships. Yes, How sir. come people don't know and you tell them that they're in a toxic relationship and they just deny it? I think when you've been with somebody for a long time, you know, it's hard to start over sometimes. So, you know, you might realize that you're in a toxic relationship, but you may tell yourself it's easy to just stay in, you know, this relationship. And a lot of times, you know, your self-esteem that you have when you go into the relationship, it erodes away, you know, after, you know, things that they've said to you or things that maybe you've said to yourself. So if you've been in a three or four year relationship and you know it's quote unquote toxic, you might feel like it's easier to stick with that person. So sometimes somebody has to come along and remind you of your self-worth. Uh, and not that you have to leave that person, but then you have to speak up for yourself. And sometimes that comes at the cost of the relationship. Or a restraining order. Restraining order. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I think you get attached to the idea that you build from that person. We've been collaborating oh, yeah. on videos. You're right, you're right. That's true. Um, and yeah, I feel like after many years you get attached to who that person could become or the potential that person has. And then they don't. And then they don't. Right. And that's when you realize that it's it's toxic because you're not actually attached to that person but the idea of that you have that person. So it gets hard to just like detach and reattach, connect to yourself. Yeah. Great talking to you guys. You guys look great. Likewise. Good to see you again. Appreciate you. Good to see you again. Likewise.